we're losers, we got beat. So you lost. There is no trophy for us. When he said it, when I saw the interview. Nobody wants to get their feelings hurt. I wasn't surprised. Stop being cute! That's the way he is all the time. It's not funny to me, okay? It's a turnover. This is a class. It's, it's another class that these young women are partaking in. Okay, hold up, hold up. We gotta get better. The jazz, that's terrible. At first, you're thinking, oh my gosh, can he just shut up? <laughs> yeah, guys, finish your layup. But then, you know, you, you take a step back and you think, you know what, he's right. There you go, there you go. At the end of the day, we're here to help these young women. Okay, now, I'm, I'm gonna teach you one other thing. Not just succeed on the basketball court, but prepare them for life. One, oh, three, one, two, three, one. one. It's game day at the KFC Yum Center, and head coach Jeff Walls is ready to go. All right. Game speed, baby, game speed. He just hopes his team is as well. Well, it's really, you know, just game prep. Just try, trying to make sure we're getting ourselves prepared and ready to go for game day. That's why you guys got to buy into sprint. After 22 years on the sidelines, Walls has got pregame down to a science. Morning shoot around, lunch, and meetings. One thing that stays constant, he never stops coaching. I, re I really think it all, all comes down to being truthful. You know, I, w I wouldn't want some coach telling me I'm doing something good if I'm really not. Clean it up! Walls knows he can be critical of his team, but make no mistake, he says he does it because he cares. He's been doing this for more than most of us have been alive. You know, he, he knows what he's talking about, so he just wants us to buy in and listen to him. Today, we have to take things at them. And today, the message as his team prepares for Boston College is confidence. We've filled out cards now that have a confidence on him and I give it to him before every game because I want them to know I'm giving them confidence. I think it's really symbolic. I think it's a way for us to really think about if we're giving our coach the confidence to, you know, put us in the game in, in crucial situations. Tip back, go first. Come on guys, let's go. And the Cardinals did just that against the Eagles. Racing out to an early lead, Louisville never let Boston College back into the game. Great job. Nice job defensively, hell of a job. But for every right, there seemed to be a wrong from point guard Taylor Johnson. You better make it. Taylor, that's, that's awful. That's an awful decision, hon. I don't get angry. You know, I think I take criticism well, and I came here to reach my full potential as a point guard, so I know at those times he's getting on me because he believes in me, and, and he's basically keeping his word and doing what I ask. Nice pass, Taylor. Nice pass, Taylor. For Walls and the Cardinals, confidence is a two-way street. And if a player has done her job, she's expected to return her card to Coach Walls, a sign she's confident in what Walls has taught. Well, that's what coaching's all about, is you're try trying to help, help these kids make the next step. You know, she had had her struggles, but then at the same time, she did some good things. Thank you, young lady. Yes, today was a victory for the Cardinals in more ways than one. Well, he always tells us that he's going to be the worst boss that we've ever had. And I think he does that so that when we do go into the workplace, we're like, oh, this boss isn't bad because I've <laughs> Coach Rawls used to be my boss in a way. <laughs> Mike Lissett, WDRB Sports. From this little log cabin in Bedford, Kentucky, the secret to enjoying retirement is all figured out. If you're going to retire, you better have something to do. In fact, 80-year-old James Stethen has a lot to do. 16 years retired from his job at an Indiana power plant, he stays active with a two-mile walk every day. Well, he owns the next farm to me. But that is just to keep him in shape for his real passion. Uh, every time I walk on the court, I try to do my best. And his best has kept him in the game as a high school referee for 57 years. He's earned the respect of everybody. Any question? What it says about sports. We all look up to him. Have a good ball, good it's not hard to see why. What's also not hard to see is Stethan's passion for the sport of basketball. It's amazing what these kids can do. Uh, back 20 years ago, you never seen a kid dunk. <laughs> and now there's hardly a team that you don't see dunk. Even after all these years, Stethan still prides himself on getting it right. And the reason he does so is as genuine as he is. If I make a bad call, then I'm taking something away from that kid. And I'm giving it to another kid that don't want it that way. 
He's always calm, cool, and collected. He doesn't get upset, uh, and he lets the kids play the game. The game is for the kids and not for coaches or referees or fans. It's for the kids. And as long as Stefan is patrolling the sidelines, he'll make sure it stays that way. If I feel like I can do the job I'm supposed to do, then I'll keep on. Mike Lissette, WDRB Sports.